expert, chocolate macaroons. It was the black color in the rice in Ely's Palu Titan, that creamy rice pudding, in addition to the coconut flavor that has inspired this chocolate macaroon. So I have three egg whites here, and I'll add 200 grams of sugar, and just whisk this by hand to dissolve the sugar. You don't have to reach a soft peak or any full volume. Just You can hear with the whisk against the bowl when the sugar has dissolved. Now I'll add my seven grams of cornstarch and stir that in, and 40 grams of sifted cocoa powder. It doesn't matter if you use Dutch process or regular. I loved Ely's enthusiasm and just pure joy at sharing stories of loving to cook and eat as she grew up. And when I think about a recipe like this, this is the kind of cookie I grew up on. Go, a splash of vanilla. I'll switch to a spatula and stir in 300 grams of sweetened flaked coconut. There we go. Now that the coconut is fully coated with the chocolate mixture, I can scoop the cookies. I've got two baking trays with parchment, and I just use a little ice cream scoop. You want to make sure you leave a lot of space between your cookies. This isn't a macaroon that sits up. As it bakes, it actually spreads, melts, and develops a gorgeous crackle to the surface, almost like the top of a chocolate brownie. It's got a little crispness on the outside, but it's soft and squishy in the center. These are ready for the oven, which I've preheated to 160, and they take about 20 minutes. With dessert looked after, I can then move on to my shrimp and coconut risotto.